All right, so what's up, you two? Baseball Card Junkies TV here, Top 85 401. Titanic Taters. Yes. So uh, we're going to do a fun video. I just, I don't know, I was just thinking about this the other night. We've had a bunch of people, like, asking us, like, a bunch of really good questions on just baseball collecting terminology, I guess. So we figured we'd just do all the terminology on one video so that you guys can... But this is mostly, this video will be mostly for be beginner collectors, but yeah. who knows, maybe there's an well, experienced collector that will all learn the, something. All the terminology that we could come up with. Yeah. Right? So there's going to be, I'm sure, stuff that we're missing, and as always, guys that are more knowledgeable um, than some of the beginning collectors, feel free to comment down below. Comment down below. Um, so should we just kick it off? Yep. Let's start with the sin of shipping. Oh. <laughs> PWE yeah. stands for plain white envelope. Yeah, so so just so you guys know, if you hear people say PWE and wonder why they're always angry when you hear that term, <laughs> it's because it's shipping in a plain white envelope. We don't need to go into that in detail. Yes. But uh, but don't do that. Yes. Um and then we'll get to some of the let's see, let's just start from the top of where we Okay. TTM. TTM, that's uh, an autographed request through the mail. Yes. And so a lot of times when you're watching TTMers, they'll say fails or successes, and that's basically when they get their mail back and they either get an autograph or they don't. Yeah. So, but TTM, through pretty, the mail. Pretty cut and dry there, huh? Pretty cut and dry. <laughs> um, then there's OCA, which is on-card autograph. Pretty self-explanatory. Yes, OCA, on-card autograph. Versus a sticker, auto, yeah. which is a autograph that's... Yeah. Stuck onto a card on a stick. A lot of people just refer to it as OCA. So when yeah. you're watching videos and someone says OCA, they're saying on card auto. Or if you're on eBay and you see OCA, on, on card, card auto. auto. Yeah. Okay. Um, SP. That would be short print. Not to be confused with the '90s cards SP, which yes. was a uh, which was an actual brand. But really, SP means short print. Yes. And then there's SSP, which is super short print. Yes, and uh, super short print obviously is much more short printed than a short print. Just a cheap way of getting out of putting serial numbers on cards. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then there's DP, which is not that's the adult, not the adult acronym for or, or abbreviation. I don't know what that. Go is. think about that one. If anyone can get it, get it. He's going to PM me, which is personal <laughs> message. But don't put it down below because it's oh, okay. not kid appropriate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so double uh, DP is double print. You'll mostly see that in reference to like, like in, um, price guides and stuff and vintage, like that. Usually yeah, vintage like, cards. Yeah, vintage cards a lot of times. Basically when they cut, when they had a sheet of cards, if there was two of one card on that sheet, it would be a double print. And then in vintage cards, if it's an SP, if there was like... Um, well, not every sheet would have the card. Yeah. So anyway, um, and then usually it's the high numbers that are considered kind of short prints for vintage. Well, right? the, yeah, that that would be a whole nother. Okay. Anyway, that would be like the series. Um, RPA rookie patch auto. You know. Yeah. It's usually so, more football cards. Yeah, right? like if you're watching Ricky Russo videos, for example, and he says RPA when he's you know opening up a five hundred dollar box of cards, what he's saying is it's a rookie patch auto. And or anybody using that term. Yeah, and then RC, which is rookie, stands for rookie card. Rookie right? card. That's mainly if you're looking like a price guide and it says RC next to it, it'll be rookie card. Yeah. Or and then, then XRC would be extended rookie card. That would be true. 80s rookie cards, basically. Yeah. Uh, and then Shine. Shine? <laughs> shine. Shine. That's any shiny card. I think everybody knows that. Uh, and if you don't, if you really want to know what it is, watch Ricky Russo. Yeah, he, he pulls a lot of shine, especially in select... All those, uh, all those Panini products. And then there's Shinage. Shinage, that's just a term I like to use. It's kind of, it's kind of a, um, I would say Shinage is a hybrid term between <laughs> Puff Bear, who always, I don't know if you know who Puff Bear is, or Puff Bear 359. He always does like, um, he calls it refractage, and then Ricky Russo oh, says shine, <laughs> and so I, so I came up with the term Shinage, which combines those two terms. So yeah. So watch yep. Top State 5401. Yeah. Watch Baseball Card Junkies TV. We're being a little bit Or silly. my channel, Titanic Taters. You'll understand what shine Yeah, we're getting a little off topic, but now back to... Uh, <laughs> LCS? Local card shop, guys. Local card shop. A lot of people don't know what that means. It means local card shop. 
Support uh, your LCS, by the way. And then PC, which is personal collection. Yep, personal collection. Very simple. Uh, oh, this is a good one. All right, so eBay one of one. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, basically, eBay one of one means a uh, seller on eBay is trying to confuse the buyer. Or, yeah. or make the card seem like it's more worth it's more valuable more valuable it or it's worth paying more than the going rate for that card would be and an example of an eBay one of one is let's say bonds Barry bonds Jersey number was 25 when he played with the Giants yeah. so if there is a card that there's a hundred copies and they're serialized and it's 25 of a hundred people will say oh it's number 25 of 100 it's an eBay one of one yeah and it'd really be number 25 it'd be, it could be 25 of 25 25 of 50 25 of 100 any, yeah. any time where the, the serial number says 25 of something and it's it's like and that very player's is the jersey number yeah like so if you're collecting uh, another player like Willie Mays it would be number 24 of 100 yeah. or you know, whoever. Mark um, McGuire. Mike, well, Mike, Mark McGuire is number 25. Yeah, I also. know. But Mike Trout, number 27 of 100. Yeah, Buster know. Posey, 28 of 100. Yeah, and exactly. So forth, so on. Um, or the, they'll also use, like, when it's the numbered 5 of 5 and it's anybody because it's the only numbered 5 of 5 of that yeah. card. So it's like eBay 1 of or, 1. Or, the, or 1 of 100, it's eBay 1 of 1 because it's the first serialized one yeah. within the card. Anyway, eBay 1 of 1. Is this a way for a seller to try to make a card seem more rare than it really is? Exactly. Um, and then something you'll also... Well, I mean, this is kind of a... a gr people that are claiming raw cards are near mint to mint or near mint or better. Um, so you're referring to eBay listings. eBay listings. Yeah, where it says near mint to mint or better. Yeah, and, and that's generally every card you see on eBay that isn't graded, except for maybe vintage where obviously there will be a crease or something like that. But it, just in my opinion, buy from reputable sellers. Yeah, if you got a seller with 5,000 feedback and 100% and positive or 99% positive and he says yeah. near mint to mint or better, you're probably looking mm -hmm. at a decent condition mm -hmm. card. Um, Here's a good one. C-O-M-C. Yeah, what the hell is C-O-M-C, hell is people that? want to know. All it's I know a is website. they show up on my credit card bill a lot. <laughs> it's a <laughs> website, and basically, it, it, it's a great place to buy singles, and it's C-O-M-C, it, um, checkoutmycards.com, or I guess they changed the name to Check Out My Collectibles. Basically, it's a website that's similar to eBay for purchasing Baseball cards or any any type of sports member or sports cards. Yep. Um, and then next we have, uh, and this is again the more geared towards when you're buying cards or looking for cards to buy. Um, when you see a someone calling it a patch card versus a jersey card or like a jersey swatch, um, a patch is generally anything that is multicolored. Yeah, well, it's like something that's sewn onto the jersey. Yeah, like, so like, like a number or a team logo or, or the a name, name or even like the yeah, the like a commemorative or, patch on the sleeve. Yeah. yeah, something like that. That would be a patch card. A jersey card would be a solid color. Yeah, thing. and a lot of times jersey cards that that could even be the under jersey to a jer to, or the undershirt to a jersey yeah. that a player wore. And then also we were talking about um, manufactured, manufactured patch. patch. That is not something that a player wore. Just so you guys know, a manufactured patch is something that the baseball card manufacturers will produce and put in a card as a commemorative relic, but not an actual... It's not an actual piece of memorabilia. It's just a commemorative relic. I right. think they're silly. Yeah, like for me, I don't have any manu... I, I don't collect them. Yeah, to me it's just silly. I'd rather just have a shine than a manufactured yeah. patch if I'm going to have a insert card. Yeah, and then that leads us kind of into game used versus player worn. Yeah. Um, so, again, when you're going to buy cards or you're looking to trade for a card, a game used jersey or glove or cleat or whatever... They actually use that game, that that item that it's from in an MLB game or an All Star game. Could have been spring training as well. Yeah, could but be they spring. used it in a game versus player worn, which means they put it on. 
and then they gave it, it back to the manufacturer and, and then they cut it up and put it in a card exactly <laughs> so just be aware of that um and then kind of you know custom cards custom cards which nate thinks is the 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 next big move in well i mean why not i mean <laughs> custom cards are beautiful but custom cards are cards that someone makes in on their printer and a lot of them are beautiful oh very nice <laughs> <laughs> i guess i should well the, anyways custom cards cards. Are, are fun but they're not made by a manufacturer correct but, but some of them will look as nice or even better than ones made by a major manufacturer yes and there and it takes a lot of skill to do it yeah um there are some um, great youtubers and, and collectors that make their own custom cards uh and they're fun to have uh, i i just say be careful again when you're buying a card on say like ebay or something like that and it says like one of one yeah and i've seen not... people i've seen people like on facebook put like this one guy bought like a um a Chris Bryant back in 2015, and it was like like a almost like an atomic refractor look, but it was a custom card. Yeah. And it said one of one on the back, and he was all excited. And then people in the group were saying, "Dude, that's a beautiful card." However, it's that new, wasn't made yeah. by a manufacturer. So just be be aware on on the difference between a custom card and an actual manufactured, fully licensed card. All right, we even have any which isn't. So guys, anyways, That's happy it. collecting. Yeah. Listen to Metallica when you get a chance. You guys probably can't hear that on the <laughs> video. But anyways, that's what we got for you today. And remember, comment down below if there's anything that we miss. Um, we may make part two yeah. if it comes up. I'm sure people are going to say, you forgot about this and you forgot yeah. about that. So I'll make a part two. We always forget about something. All right. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Please click that like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Check out our personal channels, Titanic Taters, Top Day 5401. Smash we the subscribe out. there as well. Yeah. Peace. We're going to have to talk about a mail day cowbell on our next video because a lot of people might not know what that's all about. A mail day cowbell? Yeah, you know, Pepino Man. Mail day. Boop, boop, boop.